the Blue Devils. And both of their losses to Brian and Navy earlier this season, Boston outdone on the faceoff. Something that could be an X factor for yeah, Boston today. Terriers coach, when we talked to him this week, Coach Pauly said he really wanted to open up and, and really make sure they're maximizing their possessions through faceoff. Um, and then, you know, obviously this rain makes every possession extremely important. It could be a sloppy game, so you really want to think through what you're doing with the ball, when you have it, and how that helps to control the tempo. Yeah, the grounds crew has been out with the squeegees for Patriot League in goals per game, assists per game, and points per game. You're not going to find a better well-rounded, complete offensive threat in the Patriot League than Perfetto, and good luck finding one in the whole country. And he showcases right there that offensive firepower as Boston with possession once again. Yep. And so they, they really wanted to make sure that they were able to get some wing support on those face-offs. Um, and that was a great example right there where they were able to get in there and get that, that heady ground ball and, uh, and gain possession. Boston looks to set up shop for the second time today. Perfetto kicking things off in the scoring department for the Terriers. Or in the second goal of the game for Boston with just under 11 minutes left to go. We talked about how the faceoff was going to play a huge role in this one. Finally, Duke able to pull one out as it's a self-control for Naso. Duke successful on the clear. And they'll answer back right away. When O'Neill gets in that dangerous of position, good luck. I don't care what netminder you are. It's going to be a tough day. Yeah, I mean, and that was just a heady play by Jamison to be able to see that. Um, Coach Pauly said last uh, yesterday when we spoke to him, they're going to deploy full pressure rides, 10-man rides, and they're going to they're going to really make the the Blue Devils. Where you you, you can really see um, so many different elements of this program where they're for real. You saw the resume of head coach Polly, the 2022 Patriot League Coach of the Year as he leads Boston, Maryland. And then, you know, great teams like Michigan who are playing really well this season. Um, so, you know, I, I think there's a ton of lacrosse still to be played, and there's there's really not as many open, uh, you know, answered questions yet in terms of the, the really d damp, um, um, you know, two or three feet in front of the crease, and it just skipped right in. Hit low and stayed low, but accelerated, um, interestingly, as it took off. So let's see if Duke turns this one of those runs that Coach Polly was fearing. Yeah, that was exactly. These are um, things you have to capitalize in a rainy conditions like today. Yeah, Williams finds some room just to sink away from the defense. A little bit more room in the attacking end as they were on the man advantage. And then once he gets that, it's going to put it right over the over the shoulder of the goalie. Barnes and uh, he didn't even see it so this is we could be looking at one of those runs that uh, coach Polly feared um, where you know you go from you know a one goal game to a it's very hard as a defender to keep their stick and body pressure on those uh, offensive players so Nace is picking up the ball right now and it looks like he's going to be able to kick it up and uh, I don't know if that was a push from behind but there's a scrap now a scrum and Jameson is ha has it, so that's a that's a NASA win right there. Um, but yeah, the, uh, those, the, that was a, the, the comeback that you know it was they, they held it to they responded. The Terriers did leading goal scorer. She came into the game six away from that all-time mark, drawing closer with each passing game. One that's a mark you expect him to eclipse by season's end. As Duke now with possession. Uh, Duke has had uh, two turnovers. One with the, when it was, and then below that, Duke on the faceoff, nine to three. Those two, I think, are the two facets of the game. Both these teams are going to need lit to lean into, no matter which way this thing goes. You got to think if you're Boston, if they come out with the win when things are all said and done here in Durham, it's going to be off the back of a continued stellar Barnes performance where Duke. One of their biggest advantages in this game coming into it, and it's stayed true throughout the contest, has been on the faceoff as they win another one to open up yep. the second half. And Nasa's on. And you see, you know, he stays in as an offensive threat. And, you know, this is something they worked on. They wanted him to be more than a Fogo, so they kept, he missed fall ball this year, and they worked on his offense. No, no face off, offs taken so that he could stay on the field, be an offensive threat. And here he is. He, no one's going to pick him up because he's a Fogo, but he's a Fogo with a lot more offensive training, and he puts it right there. And it hits low, stays low, offside on Barnes, and beautiful shot, beautiful play. Don't fall into the trap of thinking Jake Naso is just a face-off guy. He is much more than that. 
And you see his second goal of the season. He often is the fire starter of this offense. He'll take it off the faceoff and head all the way down on the clearance by himself. And this time, he does a little bit more than that, potting a goal, and not just any goal, a go-ahead to open up the second yeah. half here for Duke. And the Devils, the Devils really wanted that momentum, and th that was an opportunistic turnover right there that they were able to get. Let's see, though. L look how many people are in the middle third. If you're looking, watching from home, they're packed in it right now in the middle third. And what does that do? You have to make a lot of the wide open shot, but a, a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty high probability shot. How about the career Dialto has put together while in Boston? His 32nd career hat trick. It's a great feed from Kelly on the skip pass, like you mentioned, David, and he takes care of the rest. The hat trick registered for Dialto as they've leaned on their superstars heavily. Wide open for him. A hat trick for the veteran Dialto on one side. Similar story on the other for Dyson Williams. He picks up his third as well today. Leading on the veteran leadership in more ways than one. Both Coach Poli and Donowski. Boston comes up with a pivotal face on and Barnes to bite. And then O'Neill drops it down low. Rubber finds the twine, and just like that, Duke out to the two goal advantage. Boston's offense sputtering out of the gates of half number two, Duke. Turn. <laughs> when he's on his back foot, it's, uh, you know, it's just nuts how, what a great shot that was. No, you're right on the ball there, David. You could see in that replay, just a little bit of a roll, trying to be followed by the on-ball defender, and he just loses traction. Right. He can't get there in time. It frees the hands up maybe a little bit more than you would expect in most games. And here to support the Blue Devils and the Terriers on a dreary day in Durham as the hardcore fans, you could say, David, yeah. sticking it out. I've, I've watched a lot of games in that pavilion, and it's actually some pretty, pretty good... Uh, it's a pretty good vantage point. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I don't think that's the end of the world to be in the covered pavilion or be out in the middle of a, of a tropical storm. <laughs> Kelly does redeem himself as he will eventually pick up the score on that possession as you're gonna see Brower pick up the slashing call. It's gonna be a minute of a man up for Boston. So all things going right for the Terriers except for the faceoff as Naso takes care of that for the Blue Devils. Yeah. And you know, I think, I think that they're going to look to control right up there. Now again, it makes it's very hard with the footings as it is right now to have that. Naso comes up with a really nice face off, gets it back over, and the Devils are guarding that possession like it's gold at this point. Um, right now, every possession matters and they need to really take their time, both teams, in order to execute like that, that last play by the Terriers. How about the sliding Selly as well to go with it? You know, the weather May have ceased, rain should be. And you know, losing to UPenn in the rain was sort of a similar game to this game yeah. right there. UPenn was ranked 17th. Um, and so you gotta, you gotta factor that in and, and, and you know, look at it from that vantage point. They really can't afford to make a lot of mistakes here if they want to uh, advance into the brackets. Another huge win for Naso. Every single face off just means that much more at this point in the game. And he is more simplify the game. Just change the direction. That's really all you got to do when something's this slip, this, this outrageously uh, wet, you know? We've continued to talk about using the field to your advantage on offense, and we've seen defenders have a hard time trying to stay on their feet. We see it there. The shot from O'Neill is what really impresses me on that play, to yeah. have to release it at that angle as Boston looks to go down the other end and take advantage quickly. Jameson made a really nice save on that. He, he read them coming around the post and he, f he figured it out pretty quickly what was gonna happen. Now, if I'm Duke right now, I might slow it down. Now, again, in these conditions, that ball dribbled in, but it went in, and that's, the, that's all that matters. So, you know, game on again, new game. Six minutes left, 10-10. We knew Barnes was gonna have to come up big for Boston if they were gonna play with the Blue Devils, just like he did one game ago against the then Supreme team in the NCAA in Army. And folks, I talked about this stat earlier. Naso, 66 and 41, a 61% in the fourth quarter in games decided by two or fewer goals on the X. And there you go. So now you're, now you're looking at things like timeouts. 